Hi, what's up, y'all? Y'all good? I hope so. Y'all, y'all know what time it is, baby. We're about to get into these comments. I already kind of looked through Twitter. They ain't talking about much over there. So we're going to go to our next spot, which is IG. So I'm going to try to go. I'm going to try to use two different platforms. Okay. And everything that I'm saying in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Okay. So y'all, let's get into it. So the first clip is Mel and her students from her property preservation class. Okay. So here we go. She's looking for friendship. Mel is lost. Finally, showing some real business that's not failing. Honestly, when I was stranded in Huntsville, Mel bought me a plane ticket home. She's the type of person who will see your passion and do her best to put you on. She sees Sonny's vision and is trying to encourage her not to be bullied by destiny. Tell her story. I'm relocating there too, baby. I love how business savvy Melody is. It has to be a gift. Mel tried to help others. She started the comeback group, right? Helped everybody get a bag. This is the stuff I want to see. Business building. Melody is doing big things with expanding her businesses like clothing, skincare, and real estate, and singing, etc. I'm just happy they're showing actually people working, getting something done. I'll never be a male fan, but this was cute. We should have been seeing this seasons ago instead of manipulation tactics. Money making male. Tisha, take some notes. She don't have to worry about someone taking her office. The show needs the ratings. Male brings them, period. Team Melody Cherie. Glad we get to see some business. I love how Melody is pushing through and continuing to look beautiful as she do it. Yes, Mel. She is getting to the money. Real business that's not failing. See why the women secretly jealous. I've dealt with that in my entire life. Mel has plenty of friendships. She's just showing how there's no cold, period. So why should she not like Sonny? Mel fake laughs will forever send me. She don't like nobody on this cast. Sis is collecting her producer's credit and paycheck. Destiny was the same person just a few months ago on Martell birthday celebrating recording Melody's Kids with Arian. Please stop with the bias BS. Y'all are really acting as if Destiny didn't tell Mel she was Martell's friend and loyal to him. Y'all love to hate Mel. It's giving delusional. Sonny is slow. Y'all made friends and acquaintances. Child, please. Now, Mel, if you're going to be cool with this side chick, you got to be cool with yours. Y'all come up with excuses in the book for Mel. At the end of the day, she messy AF. So, she is not supposed to interact with Sonny because of destiny feelings? It's funny how everybody that doesn't like Mel can be cool with each other, but she can't be cool or friendly with the people they don't like. The rules for this show are ridiculous. Sunny is a cast member on this show, which means she has to interact with her. Mel doesn't owe Destiny nothing. They are not friends. And let's not act like Destiny hasn't been around Arion before. She's been around her several times. So, hey. It is what it is. Mel don't really like any of this cast. And it's so evident. They'll be beefing soon. This is phony to me. I get falling out with your friends. But even on bad terms, I'm not befriending nobody in a situation like that. I'm sorry. But this is messy even for Mel. But y'all gonna say it ain't though. But y'all Mel fans swear she ain't messy. Mel literally says she doesn't think they have close friends in Huntsville. So why are y'all acting like she's trying to be BFFs with her? Also, she owes Destiny what exactly? I do not like Mel. She is super phony to me. This whole scene just look like, oh, let's make that be mad. So let's pretend to be so close. Was Destiny married to this man? Or were they just dating? Come on, Mel, carry the show. 
if that's what you gonna do, male fake laughs are something to me. See what else says to me. And don't start coming for Mel after Destiny that told that lady she was only Martell's friend. I don't know why everybody feel Mel can't talk to this girl. Do y'all not forget how Destiny was buddy-buddy with Martell when Melody was going through it? Nah, keep that same energy. Sunny is new to the cast. Mel welcomes everyone to the show. She's usually the one that introduces new people. Why are y'all acting brand new? That's how reality TV works. Furthermore, Mel is always open to new people until you F with her. She removes herself. Basically. So let's go to the next one, okay? This is Mel questions Tisha and Marcel about black. Okay, let's see. Let's see what they saying, y'all. Tisha's attempt to deflect failed. <laughs> Tisha. They could be coming over there just to be nosy. Mel, they couldn't be nosy. It was closed. <laughs> it's Marceau still answering Mel and not minding his wife. Tisha, just take a seat when Mel and Marceau are speaking. <laughs> Mel is me because I'm going to be asking the same question. Since y'all always want to be in my business, let's go ahead and be in y'all's business. Tisha, Mel was trying to give y'all customers. Mel has no reason to hate on the Scots. She's just giving them a piece of their own medicine. There are several scenes where Mel has been asked uncomfortable personal questions on camera by the Scots. I work in government, and yes, you do have to pay taxes on tangible properties such as equipment and etc. It's part of doing business. Marcel was more mature in his response than Tisha. Tisha tried to hide what was going on, but she should have known Marceau was going to break everything down to Mel. What Tisha doesn't realize is people not liking her has absolutely nothing to do with Melody, but everything to do with her. If she starts trying to be a better person and stop trying to be messy, maybe things will turn around for them. Her husband has been trying to tell her this for years, and she won't listen. Tisha is the queen of deflecting. Why are y'all always thinking Mel be trying to be shady? She simply said that she sent her students over to y'all place of business and it was closed. It don't matter if it was her students or millimeters. Y'all hush. Mel getting us the tea. Ain't nobody lying. Y'all peeped how Mel was honing in on the husband and totally ignored Tisha. I love Mel. She's giving them the same energy. They always in her business. Mel is passive aggressive AF. Mel said in other words, Marcel not telling the whole truth. I really hate that they started out once truly do business as a group and it's resulted to bashing one another's businesses as if we don't know how difficult it is to run a successful business. Mel business is out of her house, of course. You wouldn't have those type of problems. So have a seat. Let's see what the people responded. Because there are 17 responses. Mel has had a commercial space for business before. She knows the ins and outs. Had, but still not the same type of business. Put some respect on her name. She had the biggest business out of the original six before she divorced. We know she was the brains behind the Hold and Hope. And they helped Sculpt get up and running. <laughs> you better let her know. <laughs> What's next? Nell and Chris in this family meeting chat. She has no insight into herself being the problem. Chris looks so tired of Nell and she don't even see it. The kids tired. The group tired. The doctor was even tired. Somebody put a muzzle on her please. Nell is allergic to accountability. Chris is her enabler. Scratching my head like sir stand up. I used to like Neil, but I don't know about her anymore. I like her in the beginning, but now I don't really care for her. She has no self-reflection. Being strong is not for the weak. But Mr. Fletcher, quiet strength is exactly what Miss Neil needs. Get the therapy. It will be worth it in the end. 
Nell is triggering. I sat here listening to her like, what? Nah, I'm sure if they get a spinoff, it will be the epitome of what so much has experienced in our family. But if done the right way, we could get a chance of seeing some good family healing. Unrealistic though, because there isn't anything healing about reality TV. So, I take it back, Carlos. <laughs> See what's next. Who up next? Oh, child. They talking about Sonny and this and the other. Let's see what they say. If Mel said nothing, that all the same people calling her messy will say if she was a real friend, she would have given her a heads up. I have a question. How many of y'all was calling Kimmy messy when she was running around with bones in her mouth, dropping them off as she went? I just want to see something. Well, Mel, why don't you allow Martell's other woman to come on the show to defend herself? See, she got 57 responses. This person says, my F that up. <laughs> F that 304. Nah, there's no defending that. That was tacky and hurtful. After watching her on Tasha K, I'm sure a fight would have broke out on the show because Ariane is not remorseful about having a loose relationship with a married man. Neither Scott couple wants her on the show either. What? Do, why y'all keep saying this? Like for real. Thank you, Mel, because they starting to piss me off. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Mel will be on Sunny's side because she's you no, know, she against destiny. In my opinion, Sunny and Moses were wrong. Mel is a piece of work. She only likes Sunny because of her hate for Destiny. And it's just a matter of time before she disposes of Sunny the same way she did Kiki. Melody pick and choose who she wants to gossip about. We see right through you, sweetie. Please get Mel off this show. Like, ugh. Tisha is making herself even more unlikable than she was before. Why all these comments about Mel and the lady didn't even say anything? Everyone hates Mel real bad. Now, Mel, I love you, but you wrong on this one. It wasn't like Kimmy was dogging her out. She simply spoke about the trifling-ish Sonny did. I don't care if it's family, friend, or associate. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And don't act like you don't speak about people who aren't around to defend themselves. You my girl. But I can call a spade a spade. Mel is moving exactly like Martell said, especially with girlfriends. She defriends her nemesis foe and asks us if she's taking the high road. Then she's repeating who said what. And she's mad they didn't leave Martell, their friend, for DEAD. Mel is messy as hell. OMG. Marcel demanding dates from another man and woman is really rich. When his hidden trip shenanigans get questions, he swells up and his facial expressions say guilty. <laughs> I agree with Ed Canvas Girl Beauty because they both were wrong, man and woman. Y'all knew what y'all were doing and chose to keep it behind Destiny's back because it was messy and y'all played in her face. Melody in this situation just proves she don't be starting or being with the mess. So much to unpack here, but I'll just start with Mel outfit. Why? Just why? Then her trying to defend nonsense just because of her, her newfound distaste for Destiny. I feel like Destiny was blindsided by Sonny and Moses. Kimmy can still acknowledge how Sunny was there for her, but still thinks she's wrong. Two things can be true at once, sweetie. The hate some of y'all have for Mel is scary. Mel is very calculated and performative. See, this is my thing with Mel. If her and Destiny were still cool, she'd so clearly see that Sonny and Moses are wrong. But because she's so upset with destiny, she just refuses to admit what is the facts. Make it make sense. I don't know, Mel. To me, Kimmy kept it a hundred. She's saying he didn't finalize, close the deal before starting a new one. 
And unfortunately, a lot of times, women are the last to know that the relationship is over. Sorry to say this, but I see why he cheated on Mel. Y'all mad at Mel for her confessional comments? Child, y'all are really beyond y'all selves in these comments. Y'all hate every female executive on their franchise. And it makes no sense. I agree with Mel. Kimmy should just stay out of it. The lady has been good to you. Even if you don't agree, you have said that. Now move on. Tisha for a lot of mouth. You show sure have a lot to say when it comes to everybody else's business. I'll keep it real. At first, I thought, hmm, Mel is giving bitter. But considering how Destiny was a thorn in Mel and Martell's situation, I think Mel is seeing Sunny side as well and possibly thinking this may be Destiny's karma. Let's keep it real. Most of the people did not want Destiny back on the show. She was not favorable to the fan base. So now, do y'all feel sorry for her? Mel is bitter. Let's bring Arion on. Mel feels that way because she doesn't like Destiny. Melody really wants to be that girl and it's draining. Why can't they have a conversation about the elephant in the room? Even the gym girl and her husband chimed in and she got with her man kind of how like, you know, Sonny got with Moses. Wasn't Mel the same way in the beginning saying she's uncomfortable around Sonny? Now she's Sonny's cheerleader? Mel is draining, like for real. Everyone has a storyline and hers is talking or acting like she's above everybody else. Mel is messy. I can't. I just can't anymore with her BS. I'm starting to believe Martell. Melody needs to shut up. Kimmy can speak on what she want to speak on. Mel irritates me like shut up. At the end of the day, Kimmy is more friends with Destiny than the forehead girl. So now they're questioning Ken and uh, Trisha. Okay, so Letitia is damn jealous of Mel. My goodness, girl, let it go. Maybe Martel wasn't lying about cheating with other women with your husband. Y'all just hate to see strong women leave a situation and level up. It shows. Way to go, Trish. Can't wait to see Mel's face when she learns Trisha also came to her house for Martell. Explaining yourself to others is a no for me. None of their business. Mel needs a woman from Chicago on her show to deal with her. And somebody responded and said, meaning what? Like being a real businesswoman and standing on business? <laughs> Trish is Martell and Ken is Coleslaw. Same activities. And Tisha, scratching my head, seems you only believe Martell when it concerns Mel, but he's lying when it concerns your husband. The Scots love Mel so much, she's mentioned in every confession. Why is Trisha's voice like always shaky? I want to explain Jack, S-H-I-T to them. Ain't nobody business. The math ain't mathing. That's all I'm going to say. But both of them was not prepared for those questions. Hurry up and show Martell Aaron all of Marceau's cheating, please. Because Tisha thinks Martell was telling the truth on mail. So it should be hard for her to believe what we what he had to say really happened with her man. Wasn't nobody fit to question me like that. I promise you that. Such an interesting combo after the sunny one. Look, Mel is on Marceau's neck. <laughs> and they got Melody at the table with this woman that was in her house. Got her talking to this woman. And she don't know WTF was really going on. They all know. And that's foul as elf. I know Key agree with Marceau on this. Dude been on SHIT for a minute and wait for her separation. 
LOL. Mel has such a heart on for Marceau. Girl is so pressed to speak to him. And somebody responds that teach girl, we see you. <laughs> they have no elbow room and it makes no sense for Jalen to be there. Like, why is he there? <laughs> Y'all want Jalen to be there. Let's see what's next. Okay, so the ladies tell Destiny about, I guess, the media or whatever. Okay, Destiny is such a dark cloud. Like, she's still a dark cloud. Get her out of here, please. Kimmy is so disappointing. Tisha, babe, where is this energy when it comes to your marriage? You be way too invested in other people's lives. This whole episode just reminded me why Tisha is so unlikable. Ma'am, that's why the fans are always on your neck. So people say Mel is messy, but no one is talking about Tisha. Hmm, she got 26 replies, baby. They like, exactly, exactly. This person said they both are messy. And say, no, Tisha's childish. <laughs> so let's see what the next coming. Wasn't she mad when Kiki showed up on the last trip and they weren't on good terms? If Mel wanted Destiny there, she would have invited her. Why would Destiny even want to go on Mel's girl's trip? Destiny, Tisha, and Kimmy? Scratching my head like still. You have nothing to discuss about yourselves? Why aren't they asking Destiny about her arrest? And charges. Now that would be some good reality TV. They all messy. And Kimmy is a dangerous one. She a dangerous messy person. She play everyone against each other. That's not good. I'm so over earth, wind, and fire. <laughs> if I say I'm so over earth, wind, and fire. These three want to talk about everyone else's mess. But God forbid you bring up what they have going on. What happened to Destiny's hair store? Is Tisha's office ever going to be finished? Did Kimmy ever get her husband, Captain Crunch, to clear that DUI? <laughs> that was a good one. Tisha only did that because Mel ate them up earlier, asking about that closed down restaurant slash bar slash grill slash lounge <laughs> that's closed to the public. So, if Destiny hates Melody so much, why come to her trip? Y'all look at this TV because Dusty would have got the dust beat out of her. Destiny's so hateful. She make it hard to like her. So the only time Tisha's speech is clear is, <laughs> is when she starts drama. Got it. Then Destiny goes on the trip and hears nonstop about Moses and Sonny's conception attempts. Yeah, she would have stuck to her. No, uh-uh, no. She shouldn't have went. The leaders of the I hate male pick me brigade. <laughs> and y'all always hollering male this and male that when these three musketeers always do the most. First off, if it's Melody's trip, she doesn't need to specify to you who her single friends are. You are being invited, ma'am. So you do have to specify. These scenes with Destiny are so irrelevant and unbearable. Now, when the Melameters gather Tisha, heavy tongue ASS, she bet not say nothing. Kimmy was a side chick, yet she acts holier than thou. Destiny steals identities. Literally, she went to jail. Letitia stays with a husband who treats her like a dog. No wonder why they're so bitter with themselves and their lives. And don't get me wrong, Mel isn't an angel. And she does some slick SHIT too. But it seems those three are partially angry and envious of Mel, of her courage and respect for herself to leave Martell's dusty ASS. Girl, you tell them, man. Let's see who was next, honey. Uh, this is Mel and Sonny. 
Right there, the stuff was on. Okay, let's see. The white male said, well, I don't. And hollered, baby, that had me screaming. <laughs> Mel is setting Sunny up just like she has done Tisha, Destiny, and Stormy. They all thought they were friends of Mel until they no longer kissed her tail. Now they are all frenemies. I thought Mel was healed, let go, and leveled up. It's given holding on to the past. She's definitely not practicing what she preaches. She couldn't wait to bring that back up. Please bring Arion on the show since Mel got so much mouth. You got the man. Why are you still worried about destiny? Okay, now see. Mel is manipulating this young lady, making an alliance with her the same way she used Kiki, RIP. Yeah, y'all think she's a victim? She attracts people to her that are just like her. Male fans have a poor judgment of character. She is not a nice person. I saw in season one, she is very self-serving. Male is bitterness personified. Male is right. Keep that same energy. Y'all didn't care when it was her. What girl call could they be speaking on because there has never been one? Messy, miserable male. Yep. I said it. Mel did this to Destiny, then Stormy, then Kiki, R.I.P. Kiki, and now Sunny. Girl, a woman who can't stand alone is a sorry one. That's all I'm going to say. What did Destiny even do to Mel for Mel not to like her anymore, first of all? And Sonny knows she's wrong. That's why she's always so worried about Destiny. But Mel has always been messy and shady. She has done it to every single friend that she has brought around. And it's always their fault. But she is the common denominator. They did it to Mel all the time. They always do it to Mel. But Mel is being messy. Mel, this is really messy. Just when I thought I was starting to like Mel again. Ugh. Everything about her conversation with Sonny was immature and unnecessary. The trigger comment was a low blow. You can't compare your situation with Sonny's. They were friends with both you and Martell. And even now, they have been choosing you. I get that she thinks that they're being disloyal. But what is she being? Mel is messy, messy, messy. And that's why she's always in some SHIT. When you seriously watch previous seasons or when Mel was going through it with Martell, you will definitely understand why she got no mercy for him. Forgive. Don't forget. I'm with the other ladies. Friends or not, what Sonny did was weird. Melody is only using Sonny to get back at Destiny. If Sonny doesn't see that after being a producer on this show, she crazy. She did the same thing with Kiki, God rest her soul, to get back at Tisha. Carlos, please cast Martell's other baby mama. See if Mel is okay with her castmates filming with her. Can't nobody make me hate Mel. If y'all can't see where Mel is coming from, you're just a hater. All of them knew about the side chick for years and felt like because Mel forgave Martell, everything was good. Not to mention, Kimmy and Nell got with their husbands under special circumstances. Tisha is illegally blind. Trisha is married with a fiance. So, um, yeah, Stormy is the only one with no scandal attached to her man. Speak, Mel. You ain't telling no lie. Mel is such a bitter person. You don't have to like or be friends with Destiny to acknowledge that the situation is distasteful. Mel is in her villain era. It's given Cruella DeVille. If that's how you feel about them, Mel, why still be around them? I'm confused. But if they start hanging with Martell's side chick, it'll be an issue. This show is something else. Bring Martell, baby mama, to the show. 
I'm tired of everybody acting like the SHIT male dude ain't messy. She messy, just like the rest of them, and super shady. If they can bring side chicks and all, let's bring Martell's side chick. It shouldn't be no issue. Woo, messy male at it again. Use Sonny to piss off Destiny and the other ladies and then dump her when she's done. It's a pattern for Melody. Mel is dead wrong. I don't give a F. She wrong. Let's be real. Mel is bitter about Martell. She is not over it. She stayed talking about him. The man not even on the episode. Same Mel is truly miserable. I mean, Kimmy was right though. I can F with you in the sense that you were there for me through a traumatic time, but also point out that the way your current relationship started off, it wasn't right and that it was indeed sketchy. Finally, Melody has clocked the elf in and I don't feel sorry for none of these people. Season one watcher, baby. Mel is being messy. Kimmy was not checking for that lady and actually defending her. Mel sounds crazy AF. Girl, you and Martell shared friends. Of course, they wasn't going to bash an SHIT on him. They might not have been as supportive to you as they could have been. And that's facts. But they don't owe Forehead or Moses any loyalty. They friends with Destiny. They wouldn't even be filming if the producers weren't so messy. If I remember correctly, Mel was on the stage with Bald and Carlos in disgust by the newfound love. Now she's riding with her? So, I guess I'm the only one that mutes and put the captions on with Mel talk. Because, whew, that voice. Melody is always the bone carrier. Misery loves company. Mel is a mess. I can't with her. Hashtag bitter. Mel is being messy and I don't care. Stir it up. Get them working. She is messy. At this point, bring Martell's baby mama on the show. I'm so tired of this Martell versus Mel storyline. This SHIT is getting old AF. Kimmy, a flip-flopper. She's always been this way. This is nothing new. Sonny, you were wrong. Period. All right, the other people say, let's see. Okay, next time on Love and Marriage Hospital. So here we go. It's funny how Kimmy and Tisha was being funny trying to invite Destiny. But when they see Sonny, I didn't know Sonny was coming. Duh, why y'all invite Destiny anyway? Auntie Nell about to get crunk. She look like the type that will throw bricks, baby. Nell and Kimmy fighting was not on my bingo card. Okay, Carlos, maybe I counted you out. I'm sorry. Mel at the end gave Natalie none. Guys, we can't get on the bus like this. <laughs> this is exactly how Mel used Kiki. It's disgusting. Again, Mel make them Kimmy earned that paycheck. Don't invite me because when you mention whooping my A, now you're going to have to prove it. And the trip going to be ruined. Nell look like she could put up a good fight. Mel and Nell, those are my girls. Period. One thing about Nell, she is always about that action. Not very demure. Not very mindful. Stormy is completely checked out since her arrest. She's, you know, like she too real. She over the show. Mel making them work, baby. Destiny was Mel's friend at one point. She attacked Kimmy when they first met. Then she came the light-skinned lady who spoke negatively about Maurice Jr. Then came Stormy, who then fought with Destiny, along with Kiki, used for attacking her own family. Then Nell, who is now on the edge with their friendship, now is Sunny. Next season, they won't be talking. Who is the common person in all of this? Melody Cherie. Kimmy and Letitia are just too strong for her to not allow her shenanigans to get to them. 
So somebody, somebody responded and said, thank you. All of Mel's friends attacked Kimmy and Tisha. Mel is a demon. She talks badly about all the ladies to her friends. Tiffany, Kiki, Stormy, Destiny, and now Sunny. Somebody responded to the original person and says, Kiki and Tiffany were her only friends. The rest aside from line a destiny she knew through her marriage. Mel and Kiki attended A&M together. Kiki introduced Tisha to Mel. Mel and Tiffany worked for the Chamber of Commerce with LaBerrick. Nobody knew destiny until her husband LaBerrick brought her on the show. Okay, next comment. Remember when y'all got mad at Tisha for saying Nell was feisty? Nell said, I never told anyone I won't swing on y'all. And Kimmy said, I never said I was scared. <laughs> I heard Nell can really rumble from my college days. Now, Kimmy, you may want to sit this one out. Nell and Kimmy fighting is crazy. Very sad to see Kimmy and Tisha being mean girls like they in high school. I highly doubt Nell got upset for nothing. I love this for Tisha and Kimmy. Mel should have left their A's at home. <laughs> this show would never evolve because no one can call out Mel when she's wrong. Tisha and Kimmy are no longer likable and the drama between relationships is stale. I love Nail. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Messy. I love Mel and Nail versus Kimmy, the phony group. They falling apart. Poor Tisha. What did Nail say? I didn't understand a word except whoop yo. <laughs> Finally, Kimmy getting checked. Baby girl, stay being nice nasty. I would have gave Sunny her own room too, LOL. Y'all had so much SHIT to say about her and now y'all can share a room and continue talking-ish about her. <laughs> yes. Let's see. None of these ladies friends. None of the men are friends. Kimmy doesn't like any of them, but to stay married, she has to go along with Tisha. Her words. Tisha fell out with Stormy and Nell. Why that's not discussed? We didn't see Destiny after Kimmy handed her A on Destiny's last reunion. It's basically the Scots and who they want to link up with for whatever goal that they are trying to achieve. Kimmy always bucking up, but bows down to the... Ooh. <laughs> Kimmy always bucking up, but bows down to the cancer hunter husband that embarrassed her on national TV. Girl, ain't nobody scared of you, Two-Face Hill. <laughs> Think about crazy, y'all. All right. <laughs> y'all get down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about what the people are saying. How do y'all feel, you know, in regards to Sonny, Moses, and Destiny? Do you agree with what some of the people are saying? Do you agree with what the people are saying about Trisha Ken or about Kimmy? Do you think Kimmy was being, you know, riding the fence or being a flip-flopper when it came to Sonny? Do, what do you think about what the people were saying about Mel? Do y'all feel like Mel was being messy? Or do y'all feel like other people were saying Mel was clocked in? Yeah, I would have gave Sonny her own room too. Y'all was doing all that talking. Like, y'all get in the comments. I mean, they ain't really say much about Stormy, so I guess she wasn't doing much talking on the episode. I don't know who we got left. Okay, what do y'all feel about what they were saying about Miss Nell. Like, do y'all feel like somebody came in Miss Nell? That's why she popped off? Or do y'all feel like some people said that she just fights it? That's just who she is. Y'all get down in the comments. Let me know. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all later.